welcome back to my channel. The channel where I'm trying to build my own DIY supercar using an old Audi estate like this one as a donor car. And on this episode we're going to continue with the strip down of this Audi A6 donor car and we're going to try and remove this side glass, the other side glass and the windscreen all without breaking them. Now, I'm not a professional glass removing guy or technician or anything like that, but I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to see if I can remove these pieces of glass without breaking them. But we'll see. Now, I'm going to have to apologise a little bit for the lighting in this episode. I'm filming in my garage, um, the weather's a bit miserable, there's no sun, at least it's not raining, but you know how it is in the UK, it could be raining any minute or we might get some sleet or snow or whatever. And it's a little tight in here as well, so bear with me. I'm going to try and film what I can for you. So let's talk in and let's see if we can remove this side glass. Now, when I stripped down the first Audi A6 donor car and I removed the rear glass, it was much easier than this one because it was a bit old school and the pane of glass was just held in place by a rubber strip. So all I had to do was to basically cut the outside of the plastic strip off with a standing knife and then the glazing just popped out. This one is going to be a lot more difficult I think. So if we take a closer look at this side glass, it looks like there's some sort of trim piece here that has to be removed first and we'll remove, maybe peel off this chrome strip that might have to be pulled off but it looks like that this piece of glass is bonded into the body shell I can just see down the back I don't know if the camera can pick it up but it does seem to be some sealant in there so we'll see but yes I think it's also bonded in place I think we'll begin by just pulling back this rubber here, which, uh, uh, there we go, and that exposes three rivets, so I'll just drill those out and then we'll have a go at pulling this strip off. Okay, the rivets are drilled out and it's glued in place, so I'm just going to start yanking on it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, by the way, this is not a how-to video, how to remove the glass from your Audi A6. This is going to be brutal, okay? There's going to be damage. I don't care if I scratch the paintwork, I don't even care if I break the glass. Although, if I do break the glass and it shatters, I'm going to have to clean up all the little shards of glass everywhere. Great. So no, this isn't a how-to video, it's just watch me mangle up this donor car and try and remove this piece of glass. That's it. You want to get brutal?
Just move the camera. This chrome trim is coming off a lot easier than I thought. It's a series of clips inside here. I'll bring in the other camera in a second and I'll give you a closer look. But I'll just pull this trim off now, get it out of the way. It seems to be coming off relatively easy. You watch I break it now. That's off. Not too bad. too soon. First bit of damage. <laughs> hmm. Broken chrome trim. Oops. So let's take a closer look at these clips that hold the chrome trim in place. You've got these metal clips that are riveted into the bodywork. And they run along the side of the bodywork, as you can see. There's some more that run in here, another one in there, another one in there, and they run along the inside of the rubber seal. Now things got a little bit tricky at this point. Now for some unknown reason, this won't budge. I don't know what it is, there's no other sort of signs of any uh, rivets or anything, but the chrome trim stopped pulling out from the bodywork at that point. So let's look at the side trim here. Once the three rivets had been drilled out, this basically just pulled out from the glass. It looks like it's held in place through this sort of rubber flap here. But that's it, not too bad. So let's carry on with the removal of this piece of glass. There are three more rivets, one, two, three, and they seem to be holding this rubber trim onto the bodywork. So I'm just going to drill them out now. Well, I think I've gone as far as I can with the outside of this rubber seal. And now it's time to see if I can cut some of this sealant away from the inside. Oh, oh that's pretty tough. been an absolute pain. I've been at it for about half an hour now and I've been able to sort of uh, unglue the bottom part but the rest of it doesn't want to budge. 
Now, looking at this, it looks like the glass is bonded into the rubber seal, which is then bonded into the car. So that's the reason why I didn't attempt to sort of cut the rubber seal out on this one. But I'm almost gonna break this glass and I'm trying not to. So I think what I'm gonna do is do some investigative work and I'm gonna start cutting the uh, rubber seal away on the outside and see what I find. See if it gives me some clues. Now I'm not saving any of this so it doesn't matter if I make a mess but I just want to remove the glass without breaking it. I'll probably chuck it away anyway but um, alright some of you out there might be thinking I'm a bit nuts and just say smash it and get the angle grinder through here and cut the roof off. Well I just want to see if I can get this glass out without breaking it. Right, I've cut this rubber back a bit and we can see that there's three metal tabs underneath the rubber. Now, none of these tabs are actually fixed to the car anymore because I've drilled the, uh, the rivets out. But maybe I can get my knife or something in here and just so I can release one of the corners. If I can get one of the corners to pop, I should be able to get the rest of the window out. we go the first piece of glass is out and I didn't break it okay the rubber seal is completely destroyed <laughs> and this is no good to anybody and it's going in the skip but I didn't break it now I've got to do the other side yay Right, I've swept up all the bits of rubber. Now it's time to push this body shell over to the other side of the garage so I can get to this piece of glass.
Done. I think I'll just remove these hinges now that the car's pushed all the way over to the other side of the garage. You know, before I forget and snag myself on them or something. Right, it's actually getting dark now. Great. And I'm getting hungry, which means it's time for bacon. So I'm going to leave it here for today and I think I will tackle this tomorrow. me bacon so I think it's time I pull out this piece of glass so it's just like the other side I'm going to drill out the rivets remove this trim drill out the rivets that are underneath the trim remove this chrome trim up to about here and then have fun and games taking me about an hour or two cutting out all the sealant wasn't too bad, only took about an hour and a half to get this glass out. I found it a lot easier to actually try and undo this corner here and cut the sealant rather than working on this corner. You just can't get the Stanley knife into here to cut the sealant back. We can have a closer look at the clips for those who are interested. These are the clips that hold the chrome trim in place. So anyway, that's the two quarter rear glass removed. Time for the windscreen. I've just got to pull the car over a little bit so it's central in the garage. It should give me a little bit of working space each side of the windscreen. It's actually about a week later since I just filmed those scenes, but the weather turned a little bit bad on that day. The weather's not great, and I've had to keep the garage door closed because of all the wind outside, but I can't wait anymore. I'm gonna try and pull out this windscreen. So I'm gonna try and remove this windscreen without breaking it. Now it's a bit of a shame, because this windscreen is only about two weeks old and there's not a single chip on it anywhere. I had this fitted a few years ago, but then two weeks after it was fitted, the rear seal on this side of the engine on the cam cover decided to basically burst open and squirt oil all over the turbo and basically put this car off the road. So anyway, I think I will begin by removing this piece of trim here without breaking the glass.
Okay, not too bad. There's just a series of clips inside here that the trim clips into. They look a little bit rusty. <laughs> so that's it for the trim. Right, I'm just going to be chopping away and grunting and tugging on this thing until it's out. So I've just set the camera up and I think this might be some sort of time lapse or something. Cracked it! Oh well.
With the glass removed, this roof is getting closer to being chopped off. But these pillars have to be removed first. But I've also noticed a bit of a problem with this bulkhead. But we'll go into that in the next episode. So until then, bye for now.